Well, so much for putting the thingy there. Oh, shit. Oh, lag. Oh, lag. We're lagging. Holy crap. Time to run. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are quite literally picking up right where we left off. It's only been a couple seconds, in fact, since I left you in the last episode. Uh, so if you hadn't seen the last episode, we are working our way up to the Deshong Tower. This is my first time going through it in Alpha 20 and just really enjoying the changes. And hey, if you guys find yourself enjoying this video, uh, please take a moment to hit that like button. It doesn't take much effort to do that at all. It does help the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you have already, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You rock. Okay, let's get started here. So we're going to just, uh, we just finished, like I said, four floor in the last episode, and now we're heading up to floor five. And we're just going to keep working our way up this place and getting it cleared out. Okay, so this is the construction floor, the first construction floor. And this floor here used to break out prior to Alpha 20. So it looks like they no longer do that, or they moved it to some other place that's going to catch me off guard. Uh, but that one doesn't. Okay, good. Good to know. Now, I think this room might be a trap of some sort. Let's go in here and clear it. So that way, if we do fall into it later, at a later point in time, at least we've cleared it. I see a knee. I see a knee, and I see a construction worker. Say goodnight, Gracie. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. All right. Come on, bruh. There you go. All right. So we got some resources here we could get later on if we wanted to. But otherwise, I think we're in good shape. Okay, let's move through these floors. We are going to run into a bunch of construction workers on this floor. Case in point. Man, I keep forgetting to load, reload me crossbow. I keep forgetting to reload the me crossbow. I got to knock that off, man. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Grab the bolt from him. Anything behind here? Nope. All right. I am going to take the time to grab cement. And we should be able to pull a decent amount of it off this floor, too. All right. We're supposed to go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Nice. Let's go around this corner before we go in there. I've got a bad feeling about this. You and me both. Let's get our back to the wall. I don't know how many are coming. All right, shotgun. Oh, we got, like, some penetration there. Went through the first one and got the next one. I love it. Are those guys on this floor? Let's take a small one of these. And we got another, we looted another meat stew. Yeah, let's take that. That'll give us even more healing and get our food and water in a little bit better shape. Uh, I don't care about that. We're going to scrap it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if those agitated Zeeks are on the other side of that wall. Um, oh, there you are. Okay. I'm gonna say, I, where, are you, where are you going? I'm right here, man. 
my frames are so bad up here, you guys. This ma makes it really hard for me to get headshots. Look at all the resources in here. Oh, man, that's beautiful. All right, I'm going to change my mind, and we'll come back for those at a later point in time. That's a lot of cement and bricks and stuff, though. All right, we started to come around here, and then we woke up the dead. Incoming enemies. Prepare yeah. for conflict. I know we have enemies, but I think they're on the other side of the wall there. Oh, never mind. And stay down. Ah, oh, crap. We got a sprained arm. Okay, well, that shouldn't have a major impact on our our ability to use the shotgun. Are we? Wait a minute. Were we supposed to come this way? I don't know. Let's go around this way in case we, we're missing something that we can loot. That's empty. Yeah, I changed my mind. I'm not going to loot all the cement and bricks and stuff right now. But we will have the option to come back later and do that. And I, I am going to reposition. I'm going to reposition the land claim block. We already have two of those back at the base, so we don't need another one. So that, it, you know, it covers the building a little bit better. Now, our sprained arm might affect our aim, maybe. What we're not going to be really good with is the sledgehammer when we have a sprained arm. I have a bad feeling about this. I'm pretty sure most of those Zeeks we're hearing are downstairs. Here, let's grab this. Because we definitely needed those bones and sticks. I mean, that's important stuff, you guys. Uh, all right, are we supposed to go through here or go that way? I don't know. Thank you for the first aid. Are there more coming? I think we're, I think we're good now. Oh, well, that's where all you yahoos are at. Get some sniper uh, skill points here. Oh, are we supposed to go this way? Interesting. I think maybe we are. Well, here, let's finish going around through here. We've probably aggroed everything in here already by now. Or at least in this particular area. Okay, is there something up here we're supposed to get? Not that I can see. You used to be able to get up and walk around on that duck, but it looks like they changed it, so you can't do that now. Now, before we go in there, I want to go back around this way. So I feel like we're missing something. Oh, no, we can't get through there. Okay, never mind. We're good, then. We're good to go. Okay. Doesn't look like we're supposed to go up that way. 
Yeah, they changed it so you can't walk around on the vents anymore. I wonder why they did that. That used to be a nice tactic. I don't know if we've aggroed everything in here. I'm going to assume we haven't and try and be somewhat sneaky. Why don't we top off our meds too? Look at that ginormous ammo pile. Five, five, six. Oh, wow, 74 shotgun shells. I'll take it. That was, oh, wow, there's even more stuff here. Little food, soup stock. Good. We need that for um, gumbo and some meds. We'll take those too. All right, let's advance. There must be another Zikaru in the elevator shaft, I'm guessing. My senses have picked up something. How many somethings? Oh, right. We don't want to be using this because of our spring. Quit moving your head back and forth. My goodness. How does somebody miss with a shotgun when the dude is like 30 s inches, centimeters... From your face! Inches, centimeters? Medical treatment. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay. <laughs> the, the reason I was missing is he kept going this, and this, and this, and I, I was opposite him, right? Um, and the other thing to keep in mind, too, is I, ha I do have a choke mod on this, so, so our spread's not as good uh, uh, as normal so yeah all that and and you know plus my 15 freaking frames per second all that contributed to that little comedy of errors there it is not because i have potato aim i do have potato aim i'm not saying i don't i'm just saying that was not because of my potato aim there's a difference very important that you guys understand that Okay, so this is where we go into the elevator shaft. Okay. So, looks like we'll climb up here. is a great way to fo or to uh, work on sniper skill. And the zombies are dumb, man. They just climb up to the top of the ladder and then derp out, so it makes it real easy for us to take them out. Okay, are we missing anything over here? Doesn't look like it. So I guess we climb up that ladder there. Uh, there could be Zeke's up here. We better be careful. And then jump down into this elevator car. Whoop. And we are now on the next floor, ladies and gentlemen. Is this the gym? Yeah, this is the gym floor. Okay, where the pool and stuff is. Now, I do happen to know that the pool no longer has water in it, which is a really stupid decision on the Fun Pimp's part, in my opinion. Because that was a great water source for people that did want to, you know, live in this tower. So why in the hell they did that? It just ruins your fun, man. That's what it does. It ruins your fun. Completely ruins the whole fun of the whole entire game. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Let's, um, 
We're a little thirsty, so let's use that so we can get this other charge here. There we go. All right. Next floor. Nothing going on over here. We have uh, a little under two minutes left on our sprain. We got a greenie and a cop in the pool. Oh, and a, a Hawaii 5 in the lifeguard chair. Thank God he's not wearing a swimsuit. That'd be scary. That'd be really scary, man. No charges in the coffee maker. Okay, I think this is where the fun's going to start. Let's get little friend out here. No, I think that's just the base of it. it. looked like a hazmat dude for a second there. Doesn't look like anything's going to drop down on the, from the ceiling on us. All right. I just absolutely smell an ambush coming. Ah, that's where it's going to come from. I'll bet you. I'll bet you. I'll bet you. All right, Roberta, get ready for Zeke's coming down from up above. Just trying to see if we can snipe any of them. Oh, there's Kaparuski. All right, let's give him some sniper rifle action. Master, we are not alone. Oh, shit. Now we can, we should be able to have some control here. Especially with the ladder blocking him. Nice. Stay down, Steve. No, nope, you stay down too. Machine gun skill has improved. I told you to stay down. To level 22. Hot darn, we're getting better, guys. We're getting better. All right, that went pretty good. <laughs> that went pretty good. Did we kill that copper ruski? Yeah, I think we did actually. We we uh we popped him twice, but you know, and then it aggroed everybody else, so Okay, we are clear to this point. Someone else is now down in the elevator shaft from off the street. Okay, I don't think we need to worry about ceiling shenanigans from up there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Throat's a little froggy. Hey, we finally found a working vending machine. What do you know? All right, I brought some money with me. So we're going to want this. We're going to want these for Horde Night. We're going to want peas for Shepherd's Pie and... Lamb rations for shepherd's pie. Okay, I think that's good. We don't need any rest of that stuff. Do I have some oh shits with me? I do. Okay, you know how we're getting down from this building when the time comes. Okay, it's good to know that there's a working vending machine on the uh, fitness floor of this building. We'll keep that in mind for future reference. I'm not going to mark it on the map because it's not really going to tell us exactly where it is. Sometimes there's samples in here. Maybe not. Okay, nothing in this room. Let's go through this other room.
All right. So I think what we'll do is go through here. And we know we have a cop and a greenie at least. Oh, and a, and a Hawaii 5 -0. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wonder if we can snipe 5 0 from here without waking the other guys up. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you and me both. All right, well, we softened 5 0 up anyway. Yeah, ease by pain, please. Where's the cop? We have three frames per second. Yeah, you get shot right in the nuts there, dude. Holy crap. Okay, so it sounds like 5-0 is still out and about, and we are infected. No wonder we didn't take him out so fast. He's feral. Whew. Okay. This is all we have for antibiotics. So you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait to take that for a little later on. Uh, we can definitely work on our abrasion by taking one of those, though. And we're hungry again. Let's have a hobo stew. I'm going to have to take some time and do some, um, <clears throat> excuse me, honey harvesting. Yeah, I don't know why they would have would have removed the water from this pool. It sucks. It really sucks. Maybe one of the mod authors, like Subquake, for example, could figure out a way to refill it. That'd be cool. All right, out on the... A little wacky, wacky thing. They got rid of the the window washer uh, lift. Wonder why they did that. That thing was cool. Scary. Yeah, let's make sure we're standing here. Oh, the lag. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, I see a feral white over there. Get rid of that. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Oh, of course. Everybody's got to come at the same time. All right, come here. Damn, spiders. Just janitor. All right. Uh, is our sprain gone? Yes, it is. Have a sledgehammer sandwich, dude. Whew. Okay. Working stiffs. What do we got? Nice. We'll take that. Anything else up there? Uh, just yeah, just just basic stuff. Okay, we'll leave it there. Guess that's it. And we already came through there. Okay, we are done with what is this? Floor five or six? I don't even know. I think it it used to t tell you right above the door. Another change they made that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Ah. Okay. I'm I'm just a little bit leery about collapsing floors, you know. Oh, this is the lounge floor. Okay. Oh, look what's up there, man. This is a booby trap room. Uh, okay, how should we play this? Why don't we get these down here? 
And we got a glowing co uh, copper up there. What I think I'm going to do is we're going to at we're going to pop him, but we're probably going to get more than just one Zeke. So we're going to try and time things so we can throw bombs. Actually, you know what? Two. Let's put let's put that there just to buy us a couple seconds. Okay. Well, so much for putting the thingy there. Oh shit. Oh lag. Oh, lag. We're lagging. Holy crap. Time to run. Right, go this way. Close that door. Oh, Lord. Okay, here. <sighs> Woo. Oh, man. This deserves a large health pack. Okay, we got a momentary reprieve here. That cop spit and completely annihilated our block. So I have to, I have to time it so it blows up right when they break the door. There we go. We got a little action there. We're good. <laughs> Wowzers. Okay, that was intense, man. I, I was a little worried there. That was definitely a bona fide pucker moment. Whew. Okay. I just saw a crap ton of Zeeks, and I knew we were in trouble. It wasn't just one or two. And, you know, with 10, 10 frames per second, yeah. <laughs> Man. All right. Is it even worth busting these open? The, the, the time I decide not to do it is when we're going to miss out on some loot. So we're just going to be consistent and keep doing it. Oh, boy. Okay. I doubt, <coughs> excuse me, I doubt we cleared this whole floor, but that was a lot of zombies. We definitely got a lot of them out of the way. You are reloaded, right? What about you? You're not. What's going on here? There's a sneaky sneak. Well, if we remember to load our crossbow. Okay. Um I mean, I've I've tried to lower my graphics settings. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's just, it's being in the wasteland that sucks. You know, another thing, too, is I'm running a 3060 Ti. That's a pretty decently beefy graphics card. So I don't think it's my graphics. I think it's just this game. Or maybe the mod. Well, not even really the mod. It's just the game. Okay, we got a kneecap right there. I've got a bad feeling about this. Is it just you, Steve? <laughs> Trash compactors. You got a bad feeling about this, do you, dear? We are in the kitchen. Nice.
This looks really cool in here. Definitely looks like a big industrial kitchen. You know, my family, I took my family on a Caribbean cruise in 2019. And one of the things that we did on that cruise, we were on a huge um, Royal Caribbean ship. I mean, a ginormous ship. At one point, the ship that we were on was the largest cruise ship in the world. Um, but it's, you know, it's it no longer is. There are now larger ships than that. But anyway, what I'm the reason I'm bringing that up is because we, one of the things you could do is you could take a tour of the galley on the ship. And so we did that, and it was really neat. It's like just enormous kitchen area with, you know, I, I, I don't know how to describe it other than it was just a giant kitchen area with different stations and different, ooh, uh, you know, so like there was like a salad prep station, there was a dessert station. Master, we are not alone. And um, it was very, very cool to see. And so, you know, when I see restaurant industrial types of kitchens like that, it just reminds me of that. Okay. The old version of this building had it always had a lumberjack in the in the deep freezer here. More peas, we'll take it. Doesn't seem like there's anything in there. What about in here? Nope. Books. We'll take some books. Oh, look at that stuff, man. Very nice. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hang on to that for later. Anything in that corner? Nope. All right, let's get little friend out just in case we get another ambush here. You know something that just occurred to me? Since we're inside of the Dishong Tower, we could at the very least reduce our our distance. I mean, you can, as you can see, I don't even have stuff cranked up either. This is a relatively um, modest graphic settings for my graphics card, and we still are just getting lagged like hell. Uh, all right, what's the object or terrain distance, view distance? See, that's set to medium. Why is it grayed out? I must have something else on that doesn't let me change that. Let's turn off screen space, ambient occlusion. I guess we could turn off bloom. I don't think that any of that stuff's going to really help us inside the building. But the view distance might have because it might still be trying to show us Stuff from far away. Medium, medium, low. Half. Yeah, I mean, my you can see my settings are really actually maybe even arguably on the low side. And it's still just lagging like hell. With a 3060 Ti card and 64 megabytes of RAM and what is, I have an i7 X series processor. I mean, it's it's a good processor. So it's just the optimization of the game in the building. Yikes. Okay. We just have to deal with it, man. That's all there is to it. We just have to deal with the shitty frame rate. And that's where little friend comes in handy. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about aiming so much with it. Say hello to my little friend. Also known as the oh shit gun. That looks like a wine... Thing either that's cool charges no charges my senses have picked up something yeah my sensors have picked up something too all right they won't all be able to come across that at the same time so let's hold up here for a minute You guys coming around or what? What you doing, man? Oh, you're all being stupid over there. Sure.
surely they see this as a pathway, don't they? That they can jump over? Okay. I guess we're going to need to jump over to encourage them to come over here. As long as we don't get them all at the same time. Where the hell are you guys at? Sounds like they're above me. Oh, I'll bet you they are. They probably went up there. Well, come on back down, guys. Come get me. Here I am. Master, we are not alone. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. There's a victim. Off with his head. There's still somebody else derping up above. There we go. Come on, Jiggly. Whoa, lag. Okay, I think we're good. It appears that there is an ammo pile in here. A medium ammo pile. Nice. Fantastic. Alrighty then. This would be kind of a neat floor to, to live on if you cleaned it up. It's got a lot of character. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the next floor, whatever floor that happens to be. I don't even know anymore, <laughs> but we're on it. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And just like before, we're going to pick up right where we left off and keep on keeping on moving up the Deshaun Tower. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.